All right, game one on the draw. against Ruby Amethyst. What's rough is that you get to gain lore while challenging. That's pretty good against us. But if each Pinocchio can just get in at least once before dying, then that should be really good for us. Aladdin's rough though. If they just have big Aladdin as well, I think we might just be kind of screwed. Let's see, what options do we have this turn? The Mim gives us questing with just one, bringing it back, playing it again. Mim can just trade with their Shere Khan. Uh, my plan was originally to attack with both Pinocchios and then play Hades, bring back Arthur, play Lilo. But in the face of Aladdin, I'm not sure. Kind of just like attacking with one Pinocchio. Bring it back. Get rid of the Shere Khan. Just trade there. And then just play the Lilo. This is tough, because they get to play Be Prepared next turn. So if we just don't attack and set up for lethal, they can just swing out to play Be Prepared. However, they can shift into Aladdin if we quest. Okay. I think with all that, I think questing with everything and then playing out our stuff is just the best play. Be prepared is pretty good here, but we are insulated against Aladdin. That eats Pinocchio, brings us to 13, them to 11.
Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. Oh, either way, it's five. Okay. So we're obviously questing then, bring back Pinocchio. Um, just, I'm just not sure what we bring back with Hades. Just get this out of the way. I wish we had the two drop Madame Mim. That would make it so we wouldn't lose lore. Let's just get this back. Still present ready lethal next turn. They gain 5 lore up to 18, Arthur dies, we go down to 17, and these two should be lethal. They can't play Big Maleficent. They can get us with um, Lady Tremaine after they challenge the Arthur. Yep, obviously. Yeah, that would have been good last turn. Yeah, we needed the goat. The goat was the only way. Alright. GG's opponent. That was a close game, at least. Game two on the play this time. Yeah, this hand actually seems fine for the most part. I think we can just get rid of our Hades, though. Keep everything else. play a one drop here we can just quest them play mim if they don't play anything i think we'll ink a mim and just play a lefu okay as planned Yep, they always have the Flynn into Prince John. Well, it's not going to be relevant here. Just get rid of the card that we can't use the Zinc. I guess we'll just eat their Cinderella. I guess... I was going to quest with Arthur and bounce them in. But Arthur can just play friends. Yeah, let's just do that. If we ink something, we play into friends on the other... Not friends on the other side. We play into uh, You Have Forgotten Me. And that gets us. Either way, I guess it gets us, so... Just take the high variance line. We could have just inked one of our mims and played Pascal, but I think these mims are going to be super important.
Yeah, they've just had the best possible the whole game. That's pretty rough. So we can't challenge Flynn while we have a card in our hand. So let's just play the Arthur first. And we can just challenge or quest with everything. Put Maleficent back in our hand so we can play her again. Now's a good time for Prince John to finally get in there. You can just challenge the Pinocchio. Well, if they don't do anything else, we just have lethal. see that and came three on the play good one two yeah I actually like her hand I don't want to mulligan anything because I don't want to risk just getting more uninkables so let's just keep this Assuming they're playing items. So we could play Mim in case they have exactly Queen of Hearts on two. I think Leifu is going to be a bit better though. I'm so stupid. I had a Pinocchio in my hand. I totally should have uh, played Pinocchio over Lefu, but hopefully I don't get punished for that. I might, though. If we'd have Pinocchio in play, we can use Lefu for ink. Arthur will bounce. Lei Fu, and we can just play Lei Fu plus Pinocchio. All right, cool. Yeah, they just didn't have a, a start fast enough. Love to see it. All right, two and one so far. On the draw though, makes this deck a lot harder to win with. I'm assuming the, oh, I thought it was the discard deck, but. Inkly Foo because we have Pinocchio. And we'll just play Mim or Simba 
in case we're worried about what they play this coming turn. Okay, I like Simba here. That just keeps our Maleficent in play. Another Hades isn't terrible, that makes it so we can uh, just discard one of them and not get punished. Just not unsure whether to play Arthur or Pinocchio plus Maleficent. We're better off playing these two. Hades, get back Hades. That would insulate me against one card that they make me discard. But Arthur just quests for more, so let's just play him instead. Okay, that works. Sure. Yep, okay. This deck is pretty uh, pretty cheesy so far. Let's see if we can go 4-1. Uh, and one. All right, game five, three and one. And we close it out with another victory. On the draw isn't ideal. Not having a two isn't where we want to be. So yeah, it's just mulligan all these. Okay, this sounds better. just have to not quest anything and then just have Mim kill her, I guess. Yeah, this next turn we can quest with the team and then rush in Mim to trade. One less lore, but this is better on our ink. The following turn, we can play 80s plus Lilo if we want.
Hades can probably sing friends here. Let's see, we can bodyguard Simba. Do we need to play Mim here? Yeah. Let's just bring back our Hades. Since we're bodyguarding Simba anyways. We can just do the Mim for value. Either way, we're questing for one. With the Hades or with the Mim. So this just seems better. We can Hades on our Simba. Yeah. I figured that was coming. Bounce our Lilo. Play both of these. And then just finish off the Gaston. Yep. heater you love to see it yeah this deck was pretty sweet um there was a <laughs> there definitely was some thinking involved but um i like that your opponents can't just stall out the game with uh be prepared and maleficent and lady tremaine uh, you can just run over your item's opponent with this deck. Um, yeah, can't recommend it more, more enough. Thanks a lot for watching. See you all next time.